instead of having just an alarm, sorry, just a sound alarm, like a siren, we're actually going to have flashing red lights or indicators or you know, stuff like that. Now we're going to be using YMOD, so don't worry about E2. I know that a lot of servers don't allow E2 for obvious reasons, but we're going to be using YMOD completely. I'm going to demonstrate how to build the system in this building, and then I will go over to my base to show how you can actually apply it to your own base. First, we're going to need a uh, a wire trigger or a target finder, which one ever you prefer. You could also use a wire ranger, though they're kind of shit in my opinion. We'll put it at the doorway here. I'm going to pretend my base is here, but when someone steps into this box, the alarm system will go off. Second thing we're going to need is a sound alarm, so select your sound. I've got uh, NPC underscore floor turret to alarm. Plop that there. You can plop multiple around. You can connect as many as the server allows. The next thing I'm gonna get is a uh, just a just a plate so I can put all my wine mod components on there just to show how it works. You can put your wine mod components anywhere. I just suggest you keep it neat in all one section so it's easier to set up and configure later. All right, we're gonna need to go to wire gates since we're gonna use a flashing light. Select your gate model, whichever you, you want. I like selecting this one. First thing first, we're gonna need a square pulse under time we'll plop it right there second thing we need is a constant value now make sure nothing's in your constant value we're going to go through this together select the model you want i'm going to select this one now the wire lights are rgb so the first value in a value one i'm going to set to 255 that is going to be the max value of the light. The second value is going to be zero. So this is when the light turns off. The third value is going to be one, and the second value will be 0 0.5. Now, what this essentially is, the gap time and the pulse time. And what I mean by those is that pulse time is when how long the light actually flashes for when it turns on, and how long it is off for between each pulse. So the way I'm going to set it up is that it's going to pulse for one second, then turn off for 0 0.5 seconds, and then turn on again for one second. So it's going to go off, on, off, on, off, on, at whatever value you put in here. It's up to you. Now we're going to go to wire light. Now set up your wire light. Now try to please, please don't make this cancerous. I know a lot of people like to just blast it to the max, but... It, it can get, it's gonna get very laggy. So I suggest keep it, keep it quite sensible. We'll set the glow size to about 100. Um, that's pretty good. Now I'm not gonna let the lights in this building are very bright. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna set multiple of these up. We'll set four. We're gonna left click run. And we're gonna look over to the output of the trigger. Entity count. Essentially what we did, it's going to run the, the light system and when it's uh, detected a signal in the wire trigger. They're going to scroll down twice to pulse time. Now left click pulse time, we're going to look at that constant value and we're going to go to the pulse time. So I select, I wanted it to be one, so I wanted it to flash one second, so we're going to select that. We're then going to go to the gap time, we're going to select that constant value and I wanted that to be 0 0.5 got the minimum value so that is zero so we're gonna select that look at the constant value zero and the maximum value which is the brightest value of the lights is 225 sorry 255 so now if I go to the wire trigger and look at the square pulse you're going to notice that it is now running because I'm in the trigger and it's going 2550, 2550. You want to have your wiring tool out and look at the light. Now I'm going to select red because I've selected red. You can do it as green, blue. If you want to do it as any other, you might need to do some further stuff in the constant value. So we're going to select red of our wire light. And we're going to go to the output of the square pulse. We want to do this with all your wire lights. You can connect as many uh, wire lights as you can spawn in. So now, because no one's in the trigger, the value is zero. So all the lights should be off. So now, if I step in the trigger, it is now flashing. Now to complete this, 
We're going to go to the A of our centimeter, and we're just going to select that to the entity count of the trigger. Don't want to apply the sound alarm to the square pulse because it's going to get, it's going to it's going to go for a siren and then stop and a siren. And then... Now this system, this alarm system, is exactly set up to the one I just showed you. However, I've applied a custom value to the sound emitters, which is why the siren might sound a bit unique, and the run value of the square pulse that we showed I showed earlier is not set to a trigger it's set to a button so it's manually turned on so it's it's exactly to what I showed you before it's just this one is activated by a, a button that's all you wanted if, if all you wanted to do is how to set up an alarm there you go